Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I wanted to make a quick little video for you guys um, about rhinoplasty, facial feminization, um, my experience, and my thoughts. So uh, a couple years ago, about five years ago, I went to Dr. Spiegel in Boston and I went in for a consultation because I was, you know, going through my transition and I felt like, all right, you know, I want to feminize my face, you know, like I think I was on hormones for like a year, like I, you know, was super excited about my transition and I heard a lot of good things about Dr. Spiegel. So I went to him and he initially wanted to do a full facial feminization, which included chin, jaw, buckle fat pad removal, rhinoplasty, um, and then he wanted to file my forehead down and try to like make it smaller. And then I think he wanted a chin implant too. Like he wanted to do all this stuff. And I took a couple of days to think about it. And what I decided on was just to do my nose. Um, I wanted him to straighten it because for a long time I had like a bump on my nose like where my nose kind of came out this way and I just wanted something just straight you know like I didn't want to change my face too much someone this is the idea of getting cut from ear to ear getting your face pulled down filing your skull and then sewing it back up just kind of freaks me out so I as much as I wanted and I thought about it you know um getting my forehead done or whatever like i'm just like it's not something that is life or death for me i'm very comfortable with what i have and i'm just gonna have to work with it you know so uh i went through with the procedure I, it was probably it was my first ever surgery so i was like emotional in the operating room i was like crying like oh my god like what if i don't come back and whatever it, i was just being drama queen and um went through with the surgery and everything was great took a really long time to heal uh, but what i noticed about three years later was that um as i got thinner i started working out being more fit also having bottom surgery it changes your muscle mass so your muscle mass thins out a little bit and um I just could see kind of like through to like what he the work he did on my nose and something was off uh, where my nose looked crooked in certain angles I decided to go with dr. Simon Orion in um, Beverly Hills California he's super awesome and he's so open to working with the trans community thank God because I was a little concerned um, I'm such a fan of his work and I was just a little bit nervous about going to someone that is not necessarily known for working on transgender patients so i went to dr simon um for an under eye treatment and he was he actually didn't know that i was trans when he met me and i uh i guess i opened up that conversation later on so i i needed him to go in and use a non-surgical technique for my nose just to straighten it uh, and kind of fill it in where I felt like it looked awkward and um and yeah this is the video so I have it for you and um check it out so this is the numbing cream it's called manicane and uh it's basically for the area where we're going to do the non-surgical nose job and also we're going to do the ultrasound laser which is going to reduce a little bit of the puffiness that I have underneath my chin and my around my neck and um hopefully it won't hurt too bad I'm a little nervous about that so why is it that you're doing this to your nose? I feel like um, it doesn't look as straight as it used to. And instead of getting a uh, more invasive procedure or another rhinoplasty, which might completely change my face, um, and I'm afraid to get surgery again on my face. Mm -hmm. So we're going to do that first. And this is kind of a, a non-invasive, non-surgical nose job. And then underneath here i've always been really self-conscious about like my my turtleneck i guess or my uh, turkey neck my turkey neck your gobble gobble my gobble gobble <laughs> um and i think it's because i've lost so much weight i mean I've, I've dropped probably like 60 or 70 pounds within the last year and i think that 
like underneath here is probably where I see the most change and that's probably why my nose looks a little different and stuff so I just want to tighten up this area without having to cut anything or go in for major surgery like I don't want a new face you know like I want my face mm -hmm. but I want it to be true to what it's supposed to look like you know because I feel like I have a little bit of loose skin because of the weight loss and and as much as I'm trying to tone up my body and my body might be firm, it's like, what exercises do you have for underneath here? It's, mm. There's not many. So um, I think this procedure is going to help a lot. Cool. Just don't want it to hurt. Oh. Almost. Well, that's what that numbing cream is for, right? Yeah. Looks like you got cum all over your nose. Oh, I wish. I wish. <laughs> well, I know it's definitely here, but what do you think about that? Mm, that's gonna make your nose long. Yeah. But I will put it behind here a little first to bring it out, and then I put here to just make it a little bit more chisel. So I hope you enjoyed my video um, of my non-surgical nose job with Dr. Simon Orion in Beverly Hills. He's open to transgender patients, so please feel free to contact him. Let him know that I sent you. He's a great guy. He's like super awesome. So um, I hope you liked it, um, and I'll see you guys.